So in the Farmable Web Portal, we can come into our Logs tab. And we can see by default that we've got jobs in progress. In the tabs across the top, we can see we can filter our, our jobs. If we've got teams and timesheets, we can see what our teams have been doing. We've got harvest records. We've got our permanent employees work hours, which we can also filter through the date range. We can see our inventory movements. We've got consumption, which is drawn down from doing jobs, purchases, um, or recounts. And then a current inventory. So we've got exactly what's in stock on the farm uh, with also a dollar value. If we come into our jobs, we can just get an idea of some of the filters. So to run a report for the season, we might want to go to job type. We can see we can filter any type of job. So if we wanted to know the spray jobs, fertilizing jobs, uh, whatever they were. We could also do a report on how many hours slashing we've done for the season. At the moment, we'll just do spraying. Uh, we can choose the crop category or variety of crop, but let's look at the whole farm. So we could see uh, jobs that have been completed uh, for the previous month or previous week if we wanted to, uh, jobs that uh, have not yet been started, so ones that are planned for next month. Let's just have a look at completed spray jobs for the entire season. So we just save that and then we can see our spray logs here. So when we open these up, we get an idea of the operator, the equipment used, uh, the start time, finish time, we'll have a duration in there. We're automatically bringing the weather in for the job, wind speed, wind direction. Um, total area, any photos that were taken, so if we're taking photos of the batch number as we're filling the tank, they all sit in these logs. And we can export it as a XLS, which will give you lots of information, lots of data regarding the job. Uh, but probably the most important data is in this report, so we can create a report very quickly on the different types of uh, applications. And we can just run it for the complete June to June season. We've got 14 jobs. We can then generate and it'll print out a PDF report for us. And that's how we run a report in the web portal.